call came in from a guy selling something. I think he said it was a horse. I'm really trying to prove myself around here, and Rick gave me a $1,000 spending limit, so I'm gonna go check it out on my own. So what you got for us? It's a 1950 horse and buggy Bally Kitty ride. Okay. I was eight years old. I walked in front of a grocery store with my mom, and this was in front of the grocery store. That's the reason I went to the grocery store, is to ride one of these. I decided to call the guys from the pawn shop to buy my Bally Kitty ride. Due to the fact that my son is not married and having a child, it has to go. I'd like to get $5,000 for this ride. The minimum I would take is $1,000. I know Bally was uh, popular and always has been, still is. Still is. They make tons of stuff from pinball machines to video games. Uh, why'd you buy it? Why? Yeah. It's a lot of fun, even for adults. And the minute I saw Bally's, I said, I have to have this ride. Does it still work? Oh, works perfect. Watch this. Here we go. It still works perfect. It works perfect. This thing is cool as hell. If I can make a deal, Rick will think I'm the man. Do you want to pawn it or sell it? I want to sell it. How much did you want to sell it for? $5,000. It's a little more than I think it's worth. Go ahead. I'm listening to anything you offer. You know, it's a really cool piece, but I'm going to have to put a couple thousand into it to get it restored. I'd be looking somewhere to buy this for about maybe 700 I would come down to $1,500 if you want. I mean, I could go up to $1,000. That's my spending limit. That's what I feel comfortable on this thing. You got a deal. Let's go do some paperwork. I sold it for $1,000. That was the low end of what I expected, but it had to go. Oh, my god. It's a Bailey's. It's a what? It's a Western Express. You actually bought this? Yeah. Why? Well, I paid a 1000 bucks for it. I know you probably think it's a little too much, but I figured, you know, we could have someone restore it, and it will be worth at least a few thousand. I think it could be a good buy. Um, I don't know about restoring it, but at 1000 bucks, I don't think we're going to get hurt. John, I have to tell you, buddy, I'm kind of impressed. Does it work? Yeah, it works. You think I would have bought it if it didn't? Yeah? Yeah. Let's see it work. I'll be impressed if it works. Ta-da! <laughs> it definitely needs a little oil somewhere. Sounds like a boar hog of breeding time, John Mike. Pretty cool. I mean, 40 years ago, these were in front of every grocery store. They were in front of every department store. And when I was little, it was a treat. It really was. I bet it killed the old man to stick a dime in one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me call up Rick Dale and um, see what he thinks about it. I know he sells these things. If we make some money off this thing, maybe I'll give you a little bit more responsibility. Oh, we're going to make some money. All right, let me go give Rick a call. This is it, Rick. It even works. Wow, awesome. I own Rick's Restorations, and I can restore anything. Rick called me down here to take a look at this, uh, some kind of an arcade ride. Jum, you bought this? Yeah. Stepped up and bought it to show these guys that I know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've never had one of these things before. Chum, what do you know about this? I mean, it's the old 10 cent valley ride. It's got to be pretty old. It's 10 cents. Yeah, it's, it's 50s for sure. Um, Valley started making kid rides in about 1940, and they made all kinds of different ones, boats and cars and all kinds of stuff. I remember also as a kid riding them. It's the kind of piece that actually drew kids to it and made money for the store. And they didn't make a whole bunch of them, so it's an incredible piece. Do you know if it works? Yeah, it works pretty good. Here, let me show you. Sometimes you gotta Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, you guys need to lube this thing up or something, man. It's squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> so, what'd you pay? Oh, well, I paid a thousand bucks. Um. 
Actually, that's not bad. It's not bad. But uh, as far as restoring it, I don't think it's worth restoring it. I mean, I'd spend five to seven grand painting all artwork on this. Honestly, I think 3,500 is what you could sell this for right now. You did your job. I'm happy Good for job, you. Good job, Chuck. I didn't do bad. I don't think it's worth restoring. By the time I get done with it, he will have made more money selling it as is, cleaned up, ready to rock and roll. You know what the rule is, don't you, John Wayne? You bought it, you clean it up. Get started. I knew I made an awesome deal. And once I get this cleaned up, I got a great idea to make a little extra cash before we sell it. Now that I spent some time getting the ride I bought all cleaned up, now it's time to go make some serious money.